how to become a good speaker and that's today's topic now this one is highly requested so i finally made this one now research says that 85 percent of the speakers are actually nervous about public speaking i think the other 15 percent are lying the fact is everyone is nervous before going on stage there are these butterflies in our stomach right and our heart it seems that it's on a treadmill pumping really fast our knees go weak and our palms are sweaty and we turn red it feels so hot all of this is natural everyone feels nervous while going on stage and today i will share some tips which will help you train those butterflies now these 10 tips are going to help you master the art of public speaking. So let's get started. Now these tips are divided into these three sections. The first one is the preparation section. All of what happens before your D-Day, before the day that you're about to present. The second one is the pre-stage section. This is when you're in the green room or backstage before you hit the stage. And the last one is on stage section. This is when you're actually on the stage live in action. So let's start with the preparation section. So tip number one is know your audience. Understand what kind of event you've been invited to, to speak. Understand if it's a college event, if it's a corporate event, if these are group of professionals, which industry do they belong to? What is the topic? It's very important to focus on the topic because if you know what the topic is all about, you'll be more confident and comfortable presenting it. Based on your audience, you need to customize and tailor your presentation. Your presentation should suit the audience. And in your presentation, there's broadly three parts, right? You have the opening, you have the body, and then you have the closing. Opening and closing, very important, and we'll talk about that. Tip number two, spend time on your content. Make it very creative. Keep the slides very light. Don't make it heavy. Don't put a lot of content on the slides. Now, I have seen leaders who have a lot of content on the slide, and they say, oh, this slide might be an eye test for you, or you know, this is a busy slide, but why put a busy slide? Now, research says that the moment the audience see a busy slide, they lose interest. Now, I say what you do is keep bullet points, pictures, infographics, and then you speak about it. Elaborate each point, but spend time on your content so that, you know, the content is light, creative, and has a good connect. Tip number three, make cue cards. Now, a lot of speakers, they have a script that they write down, right? Of covering all the points uh, of their presentation. Now, a few speakers, they carry a script and it becomes very confusing. Or, you know, most of the time you're just reading. Now, in that, you lose the connect of the audience. So my suggestion, is to make small cue cards which have pointers of what you need to speak and you can carry the cue cards that's absolutely fine but make sure that you cover all the points or the important points that you want the audience to take away now let's move on to the next section which is the pre-stage section this is when you are in the green room sitting and getting ready to go on stage now your mind is running at 100 kilometers per hour speed because these two monkeys are continuously throwing thoughts in your head let's talk more about the monkeys tip number four feed the good monkey now in your head you remember when we used to watch cartoons there used to be one voice which is the angel and the other voice which is the devil similarly 
we have the good monkey and the bad monkey. The bad monkey is the one who is continuously giving you negative thoughts. You will forget your lines. People will laugh at you. I don't think you will do a good job. And the good monkey is telling you all is well. You got this. You are going to give a fantastic presentation. So you need to feed the good monkey. You need to think good thoughts and positive thoughts. Tip number five, visualize. This is a powerful technique that a lot of great speakers use. Now this technique, you have to look at two things. The first one, you have to visualize that you are on stage and you are calm, confident, and you're delivering a fantastic presentation. You remember all your points and your body language is, is great. You're using hand gestures and you are in a very commanding position. The second type of visualization is from the audience front. You visualize that the audience is loving your presentation. They are applauding for you. They are clapping. They are smiling. They love your presentation. A lot of speakers use this technique. You can try it out. Tip number six. I think this is one of the most important tips before you are going on stage. Breathe. Whenever we are anxious or stressed out, what happens? Our heart beats faster and then we go out of breath. Now this reflects in our voice, right? We need to calm our mind. We need to get the heartbeat down. And there's a very simple technique which does wonders. It is known as the 547 technique. Breathe in for 5 seconds, hold for 4 seconds, breathe out for 7 seconds. This immediately calms your mind. It brings the heartbeat down and you are more confident. Now that we are done with the tips for backstage, let's move on to the next section. On stage, it's showtime. So tip number seven is your body language. Now imagine this. How should you go on stage? Should you run with the energy towards the podium? Or should you walk slowly, calmly, confidently towards the podium? Now both the ways are right. You can do whatever you are comfortable with. Just don't trip and fall down on stage. Now that you are on stage, don't try and cover the stage and keep moving, you know, sideways or, you know, back and forth. What happens is that is very distracting for the audience. Here's a suggestion. You identify three spots on the stage. Go to spot number one and deliver one third of your speech. Then you calmly, confidently move to the second spot and then continue your speech and then to the third spot where you can complete your speech. This shows confidence and it is less distraction. Now with regards to your body posture, right? You stand tall with the body weight on both your legs, your back straight and your shoulders back. All right. Now don't put your hands in your pocket or fold your hands or fidget with your hands. Use your hands to emphasize on your message. Use hand gestures to make a point, to prove a point. Tip number eight is probably the most important part of your presentation or your speech. It is your delivery. So when you are starting, focus on the opening. Look at building the curiosity. So start with something that the audience is not expecting. A date, a quote, an incident, a story, a question. Or do something which they are not expecting. That will catch everyone's attention. And then you can sync it to your topic of presentation. Speak slowly, clearly, loudly. 
people should be able to hear you clear. So normally if you're speaking at a decibel, try and pump it up a little bit to show that energy in your presentation. A lot of times people feel that they have to rush through it and finish it off and go down stage, right? Don't do that. Don't let your pace match your heartbeat. The rate of speech should be slow, which is easy to understand. Use simple words, simple language, avoid jargons, avoid fancy words, avoid words that people are not able to understand because they won't be able to connect to what you're saying. Articulate your words clearly, speak clearly, use voice intonation, use inflection, use your tone. If there's something that you're talking about that shows excitement, then show it in your tone. If there is something which is insightful, then you can pause. Let people reflect on it. If you're sad, then show it in your tone. Use pauses. Pauses are very powerful. They give time to the audience to digest and understand what you're saying. And they also give you time to breathe. Now tip number nine is eye contact. Eye contact is very important to make that connection and engagement with the audience. So you remember the three spots I spoke about. When you are on one spot, you cover that section of the audience. Look at people in their eyes. Look at people who are smiling and acknowledging, who are actually supporting you. They will feel the connection. Never look at the, the ceiling or the floor or at one section of the audience throughout the speech. So when you go to these three spots, just try and cover left, right, center, left, right, center. So that way, everyone will feel connected to you and would follow what you're saying. And the last tip, tip number 10, practice, practice, practice. You will become perfect, you will become better only if you practice. Now you can practice in front of a mirror, you can practice in front of your friends, your colleagues, you can practice by recording on your phone and by looking at you know your hand gestures, your fillers, the way you're speaking, it will really help you. Now practice can also be preparing for your speech and another way of practicing is to keep doing more and more of what you're doing right if you give more speeches you will keep getting better and better so practice will make you perfect and practice will make you successful and finally here is a bonus tip wear the best accessory in this world which is free Smile. Smile will make you more appealing, will help you connect with your audience and will also hide your nervousness. I hope these tips help you master the art of public speaking and help you make a great speaker. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the next one.